Greetings, everyone, and welcome to the B We War. We are here to talk some NXT. I am Mad Mike. Y'all know who I am. With me, as advertised, is the one and only Sorgatron. How I'm are you, here, sir? I'm here. I'm here. I'm here. Ready to talk some developmental awesomeness. All right. Is that what we're doing? Is that what we're still referring to? That? I, 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 welcome to FCW 2017 podcast. Welcome to Global Force WWE. Mm-hmm. I don't know if that works. Wow. Uh, it might. Maybe a little. Yeah. All right. That's um, true. Okay, Sorg, we're gonna do this how how we normally do this. What is your one word for NXT this week? My one word for this week is baby. Okay. I assume that's hyphenated. Sure. Okay. All right. I, I, I want. Know. It's all mushed together on its tight, so I'm not sure. You think okay, so? that's fair. That's fair. Um, my my one word for this week is baldness. <laughs> Baldness, sorry. All right, all right, all right. Because I, right. I realized something today. Okay. I realized something. The less hair you have on top of your head, the more I am interested in you as a character on NXT if you're male. Um. Okay. No, the, the, I, I'm telling you, it makes a lot of sense. Mm-hmm. It makes a lot of sense. Sure. Yes. Sure. All right. All right. Right. So, uh-huh. yes. 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 Uh-huh. Okay. Yes. Sure. Yes. Yep. Sorg? Yes. What's your good this week for NXT? <laughs> <laughs> I must have been killing you with the switching. Just keep saying yes over and over no, again. No, no, no. I wasn't switching at all. I just left it on you. <laughs> <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> I yeah. think you're going to have us go back. Yes. 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 No. Yes. 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 No. Yes. Maybe. I'm in season. No. That's the wrong show. Yes. That's the wrong that that's Lucha. That's Lucha. <laughs> Rabbit season is on Lucha. <laughs> no, I'm so happy at uh the Adam Cole Eric Young match and sanity and, and, and everything. Uh that, that we got the debut, that we got him. Also, I loved how he went to do his pose with the <laughs> finger and just looked at it. <laughs> well, it's the first time he got to do it like in a match. No, 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 no. Usually, he when he gets in on the apron, he he points and does the bull club like like gun point thing. Oh, okay. And he's not doing that in WWE. Well, I would imagine not. No. Because, you so know. he gets there, does all of his stuff, and then just stops and looks at his hand. Wait a minute, Sorg. Is there a bullet club representation on every show? I feel like we talked about this before. There's nothing on 205 Live, right? Like, there's no. No, no. Or, you know what? You know what? We were talking about. We were talking about how there's a 3MB representation on every show before. Uh huh. But there's so, Bullet but Club on every show now, now too. There is Bullet Club. I would. I would not count 205 Live. I would just say on Raw, obviously. Wait a minute. All right. You know what? We need to put the Young Bucks on 205 Live, and then we'll have Bullet Club. <laughs> there you go. Bullet Club for all. Exactly. They are. They are a legion at this point. So, yes. And technically, <laughs> and technically, we have someone impact. Oh, let's let's not talk about that until we have to, <laughs> until our hand is forced, Sorg. Mm-hmm. Uh, damn it! Um. All right, my. Ah, uh, damn it! So I'm distracted because I realize there's like a huge business meeting happening at the taco stand across the street, and it's distracting Sorg, me. Sorg, leave the taco. Take the cannoli. Mm, don't we don't have any cannolis. That's what I was saying. We need an Italian na- Italian uh, restaurant. That's not slice on Broadway. That has something like a cannoli. That's fair. Okay. Um, my my good this week is the first half of the show. Hmm. Wait. wait mm-hmm. what? Really? <laughs> yeah. Okay. Yeah. Um. Because honestly, the first half of this show, I was super amped. I'm like, oh my god! Like, if we keep going like this, this could beat Lucha. Hmm. Like, because it was. Everything that I love about NXT. Nate, can you can you name can you count the ways that you loved it? Yeah, I, I oh I can. Like, I mean, first we start off with Sanity showing mm-hmm. up. Mm-hmm. Uh, we start off with William Regal announcing there's a four way match for the women's title, which is awesome. Yeah. Um. So William Regal, four way matches. 
Nikki Cross, then Oni Lorcan versus Lars Sullivan. Hello, yes, please. Danny Birch saving Oni Lorcan. Hello, fucking yes. Ruby Riot getting a rematch with Nikki Cross against the iconic duo. Yes. Then Heavy Machinery, then Johnny Gargano, and then, well, then we get Roder Strong. <laughs> <laughs> and you start to see where it turns. Then we, yeah, it, it turns as soon as Roderick Strong comes on the screen and is literally a charisma vortex. Oh, no. Oh, no. That, <laughs> like, that's... I have the same problems with Roderick Strong, but I have, I always feel sorry when you explain the problems with Roderick Strong. <laughs> He is a charisma. Vo- he literally like sapped him. like the I... entire steam out of the show. Mm. It's like Johnny Gargano saying, "Hey, Mister Regal, I'd like another shot at Andrade because I feel like I deserved it." And then it's Roger Strong saying, "Oh yeah, I'm very respectful. I'm, I'm gonna fight Drew Drew McIntyre. He, he's not Galloway, right? He's not Galloway. It's it's McIntyre. What show is this? <laughs> All right. Yes, uh, I, I'm I'm going to have an NXT title championship mm-hmm. match." I'm very excited for it. I'm going to be doing it for my family. Uh, I, I beat Bobby Roode, even though he's far more successful than me now and, and, and was back then. And, and I'm just like, oh, my God, Roddy, like, do a, do a promo with a vibrator up your ass. Something. I need, I need, I need <laughs> That's <energy>. amazing. <laughs> I need some energy from you, Roddy. Like, give me something. Show me some love, right? He killed the he killed the entire second half of the show for me. Mm-hmm. Like, ah, uh, like, like I get it. You're fighting for your family. That's great. Guess what? Fucking everyone's fighting for their family. This is your actual job. <laughs> <laughs> this is what pays the bills. Even even if your family is just cats. Hi, Natty. Like, like. <laughs> You it's, gotta pay. The, you gotta get the cat litter in the in the in the cat like, food. Yeah, like I mean, it's be, like, like Sorg. All right, let, let's do let's do a slight bit of role play for a second here. Okay, Ooh, role play. Yeah. Okay, yeah. You be a customer at Toys R Us where I currently <laughs> work. Okay, and I will be Roderick Strong, Toys R Us employee. Okay. Okay. All right. All right. Um. Hey. 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 Hey, kid. Um. Because no matter. You probably get yeah, that a yeah. lot, right? Toys R yeah. Toys R Us kid. Yeah. Yeah, Toys R Us. Hey yeah. kid, I'm looking for some uh elite action figures of the boogeyman. Uh well, yes, I, I can show you where those are. Uh as you know, this is my job. I, I know where these toys well, are. I, 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 I do I just want to know I, where I'm, the figures I'm, are. I'm going to show you where the boogeyman action figures are. I do this for my family, I do right, this for right. my Stop for telling my, me kids. stop telling me and do it. Uh, um, all right. No, I, I'm going to do. It. I'm looking you in the eyes. I'm going to do it. I'm going to take you where the where the action figures are. I'm going to, I'm going to do this because this is my job. This is how I provide food for my family. This is how I provide money and 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 buy buy action figures for and my own I've, children. I've walked away at this point. And, <laughs> and you have found the action figures by yourself while I'm still talking into really? a void. It's okay. I got them over here. Just yeah. keep. You're good. You're yeah. good. Yeah. Uh, no, yeah. Sorg, Sorg. Exactly. Do, do you do you want to see how I actually interact with people? How do you, you actually? Like, <laughs> when, uh, ask, when did this turn into a Toys R Us trainer session? I thought this was a wrestling show. Ask me the same question. Uh, hey, uh, where's the Boogeyman Elite figures? Is there a Boogeyman Elite? I, if there is, I want one. Oh, yeah. You want to know where the Boogeyman figures? Follow me. We'll head over to the WWE Al. Who's your favorite wrestler? That's how I talk at the store. Obviously, the because Boogeyman. Because I'm, I'm animated about my job. Yes. Like, even my job. Which is very low paying. Like, Roddy, you got to do something, bro. This isn't Lucha Underground where you can pre- pretend that you were zapped with a charisma ray before every promo. Like, I need something. I Who's more of a machine, Roderick Strong or Cage? <laughs> because I'm pretty fucking sure it's Roderick Strong. Um, all right, anyway, Sorg. I guess the Rise Strong promo was my bad. Uh, what, was your, what was your bad this week? Jeez. Um, we got to the women's match, right? And I just felt like, oh, wait, this is developmental. You get to that match where you're like, oh, right, this is developmental, and we're still figuring things out. And that was the ladies this week. Um, nothing wrong with the ladies. It just it – just, eh, it was a match. I liked, I liked seeing Liv Morgan back. Hmm. And she got a little promo time. I thought, I thought it was okay. 
No, no, and hopefully that that that, that kind of grows her into something too. But in the meantime, I'm I'm watching a match like that, and I'm like, there's no way that this four way match is not Kerry Sane, uh, Nikki Cross, Ruby Riot, and Ember Moon. Um, uh, I believe. Well, see, Sorg, right mm-hmm. there, you have no you have no heels in that match. Uh, anybody could. What Nikki? No, uh, yeah, yeah. You have no heels in that. I'm sorry. One no, but you both. got a whole lot of crazy. One or both of the iconic duos is going to be in that match. I think it'll be a wonderful competitive uh, kind of match. We could do that. We're allowed the, to do those the these only, days, right? Honestly, the only way I see I see the iconic duo not getting in that match mm-hmm. is if they make the tag team rematch like four or two spots in the fail four way. Okay, I can see that. I can see that. But even even then, because I they, they can go through them, that, that, that's fine. That's absolutely fine. I think we might also get uh, someone else from the Mae Young Classic in there. Mm, just randomly. Like, uh, like, uh, like Candice LeRae. <clears throat> Excuse or, me. I'm sorry. Or, I, I'm, fight, I'm fighting a cold, Sorg. Somebody I'm in the fighting, final, maybe. I'm fighting an awesome cold. Oh, Shayna? No, Shayna's staying far away. Is she? Is she? I, I think she's staying far away from this. So they can do something that maybe survivor survives? That's what I'm thinking. Because honestly, that's how we say it now. That's how we yeah. say Survivor Series. <laughs> that's how we say everything now. That's how we say all. I feel so games. bad for the people in the other offices because they just hear this that, side of this conversation uh, so, through the wall. So sorry, you're saying for also. You're American Bash. Like, you know, that should be that should be a game we have what where we show where we, what where are we, we say all pay per view names like that, and someone who has normal ears has to guess. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. <laughs> December to December. <laughs> <laughs> oh God! All right, Sorg. Um, what what would you change by NXT this week? <laughs> all the pay per view names to what we just did. <laughs> <laughs> So, Sorg, what'd you think of Nermers? <laughs> um, geez, uh, what did I change? Um, it w- I don't know if it's a change, but Fabian Fabian has gained like forty pounds of muscle since uh g- t- since the cruise weights last year. Is that right? <laughs> yeah, it sounds like it. Yeah. <laughs> Holy crap! He like grew another person. Yep, he's he's grown a kawado. He has grown a kawado. <laughs> and the kawado is his traps, apparently. Yes, he is hashtag Trap King. Because <laughs> he was badass when it came to the cruiserweights, and now you like you put him in yeah. there, and you put him against Cassius, who is like what six f- four six five, to remind mm-hmm. him like, hey, he looks like a heavyweight next to this guy. Uh huh. But but Sorg, that's that's where I realized like my hair theory holds true. It doesn't hold too, true for tag teams. Tag teams are no no. I'm no, talking I'm talking, single, I'm talking male singles wrestlers and, because Danny Birch, I love. Lars Sullivan, I love. Oni Lorcan, I love. Fabian Eichner, I love. Eric Young, I really like. And, and Fabian and and, and does and not Fabian, have a lot of hair. Fabian comes off as a guy that has like a disturbingly lack of hair on his entire body, which means he must be your favorite wrestler ever. Uh, well, no, no. I, I'm only discussing top of the head. Top of the head? Top of the head, not even facial hair. Okay, okay. I'm not, the facial hair doesn't even come into Cause, discussion, cause you got let, a, alone, let alone other body hair. Other body hair, okay. Because e- even if you look this with insanity, weird. what is this show? Even if you look with insanity, my favorite is Eric Young. Mm-hmm. My second favorite is um, Wolf, is Alexander Wolf, <laughs> and my third favorite now is Killian Dane. I'd flip those two. No, I'm sorry, Brooklyn changed my entire opinion of that. Wow. Okay. All right. Brooklyn changed my entire opinion of that, but it, but like it, like Johnny Gargano is about the hair cutoff point. Johnny Gargano is the hair cutoff point. <laughs> Roddy Strong has more hair on his head than Johnny Gargano does, oh. and that's where it starts to slope downward. Ha- uh, hashtag less hair, hashtag and, more charisma. Yes, and, and Adam Cole is kind of immune from this because he's only been on for less than a month, mm-hmm. so I can't judge him yet. But as of right now, you know, he's fine. He hasn't really done anything of note, which he will probably next week when he interferes in that NXT title match because he's Adam Cole, baby. Baby, hashtag Baby's kids. Can we call? No, 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 no. Can we call 
uh, Kyle O'Reilly and um, uh, Bobby Fish. Can we call them Bebe's kids? No. no, no, no. Can we? No. All right, I'm going to do it anyway. I know oh, you're saying no. Yes, and then it'll be But yeah, it's Adam Cole and Bebe's kids. Oh, <laughs> oh, no. Yeah, Bebe's kids. I guess. Kids. I guess so. We d- we don't divide, we multiply. That's that's how that works. Oh. <laughs> yes, that is that is the tagline from the 1992 anime classic Baby's Kids. You're is, welcome, internet. I have that in my brain. I just lost the calculus equation somewhere. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Sorg, I'm going old school on references today. Mm-hmm. I'm going I'm going old school. Are you, are you proud? Or slightly disturbed. Yes. Okay. Uh, <laughs> if I could change one thing from NXT this week, it would be um oh man, it would probably be to shave Roder Strong's head. <laughs> I I think I killed Zork. Oh yes. Just just we we gotta do something with them. I'm so glad this is padded behind me when I just like go like this. Or just <laughs> we, because I can't handle it. Yeah. Uh I I I I need to change something with Roderick Strong. Or maybe like like I don't know. Have something happen with his family where he can't support them anymore. <laughs> like I I don't know. There's like where he doesn't not not. not listen, that I want listen. I'm bad. only going to be interested if something really horrible happens to your family. Uh, sorry, here, Roddy. No, okay, no, I don't want anything horrible to happen to his family. I just want him <laughs> to be able to wrestle for himself, for right. the love of wrestling. Right. Instead of literally, the only talking point he has is I have to support my family. Mm-hmm. Like, I I thought NXT paid slightly better than that. Mm-hmm. Slightly better. Like, and isn't his wife like an MMA person? Doesn't she also make money? Like, come on, hashtag feminism. <laughs> Sorg, we live in a world where Roderick Strong's <laughs> wife might be on a WWE pay per view before he ever is. Yeah. Yeah. Do I ever say Sorg? All right. Sorg, where do you rank NXT this week? Oh, <laughs> solid number three, but not for lack of trying. Uh yeah, it, if if the first half had gone more skewed toward everything I love, um, than it did, I, it might have been number two, but it's number three for me this week. All right, all right, Sorg, where can the good people find you in the SorgatronMedia dot com? All the fun things happening there. We got comic book podcasts, we got scary things podcasts, we got lady podcasts, we got all kinds of stuff going on. SorgatronMedia dot com. <laughs> Sorg, I really hope that's not the title. What? Lady Podcast? No, no, Lady no, no, no. It's actually called The Broadcast. So, Okay, well, uh, that that sounds much better. Yes. <laughs> There's actually Cause... The Broadcast, not That Broadcast, who is somebody actually we had on one of our other podcasts, Fishing Without Bait. It's getting really confusing. <laughs> okay, then. And they're uh, very, find... very different shows. <laughs> okay, I'm, I'm assuming one is more broad. Ah, oh, ah, ah, no. Puns. All right. Uh, what, well, one's me. done by some journalists and the other one's done by uh, a musician. Um, all, all both here in Pittsburgh. So, so I, so I was right. One is more broad. Wrap the show, Mike. In topics. <laughs> <laughs> Wrap the show, Mike. Okay, all right. You can find me at Mad Mike four eight eight three on the Twitter machine. Also, go to at Mayhem Show. Look for the hashtag MM for when I live tweet things such as Lucha Underground. And uh, I will not be here next week because I will be at New York Comic Con. But Sorg will be here next week on the Mid Report.